Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, as you can see behind me here, I've picked up a new tray off a of Facebook Marketplace for the Land Cruiser. It's a bit of a beast. Uh, it needs a fair bit of repairs and things, but it's in pretty good condition, especially for how much I paid for it. The thing is actually pretty clean. I started uh, sanding it down and grinding it all back and cleaning up all like the little old tabs and stuff uh, yesterday, and I was doing a bit earlier. They're the mud guards that were on it. I've just uh, I just broke them off because I'm going to be putting new custom guards on that I make. As well as there's a few like dints and things that I have to pull out. As well as I cut off all like the little brackets um, over here for. I'm not quite sure what they were for, like these two little brackets, but whatever they're for, I'm not going to be using them anyway because. Uh, this is just going to go in the car behind me here. I've covered it all, everything up in blankets uh, that I'm worried about getting uh, like grinding dust on and welding splatter and stuff once I start uh, re-welding up a lot of these holes. Like, another thing here is the end of this beam has been cut to fit the fuel filler neck of a 75 or 76 series. So, um, that uh, needs to be cleaned up and I'm probably going to cut it off. started sanding it all. So it's probably about oh, maybe a third of the bottom sanded now. As well as if you have a look underneath, uh, it needs a lot of work. Just I'm probably just going to wire wheel it and sand it all and everything, which is be painful. But I don't really uh, want to get it sandblasted just because it's going to take forever, and I just want to get it on the car. So I'll sand it all down. And I'm going to paint it with Raptor liner. They're the old uh, little brackets from where the roll bar used to come down onto because this is a certified um, tray that came off of a mining ute originally. Alright, so I'll just give you a bit of an update on what I've done. Uh, I've just cut off the two little brackets that I won't show what they were for, so uh, they're out of the way now. Uh, I kept grinding down everything, like all the little uh, mounts that were like there, and the bit that's sticking out over there. Um, now, uh, I'm going to remove this bit of C-section, uh, not C-section, uh, I'm going to remove this bit of uh, square tubing here because uh, it's been cut and ruined as well as uh, it doesn't seem necessary if you look at the spacing between like these two uh, bars and um, the other ones like up the one up here there's no brace in between them so I don't think it's necessary so I'm gonna see uh, if I'll be able to get the whole uh, beam removed and then I might not replace it I'll just continue uh, this bar through and just clean up all around it and that should be fine I might even just chuck like uh, another like little brace down the other side, the same as this, or I might even replace it with C-section because even that will be lighter than this. But um, yeah, so I've also removed the little uh, reverse beeper and the two number plate lights because it was all just corroded and ruined. Uh, if you have a look at it here, I mean I didn't do the best job. I just cut the bolt heads off of the grinder, so it's pretty destroyed. But now it's all rusty and crap anyway, so if I do get a new one of them, I'll be replacing it, not using that old one. These are the tail lights that I've got here. Okay, so they're the tail lights I'm going to use. They just slot straight into there. They fit pretty good. i got to center them, obviously, like up about there somewhere. But, yeah, so for now I'm going to keep grinding all this thing off and try and get that beam removed, maybe, and just keep cleaning up all the old welds. Alright, so I just turned the GoPro off a while ago uh, to save battery because it uh, was about to go flat so I chucked it on charge. But I've been doing a ton more work on the tray now. I've uh, cut the end off of this beam that was all disgusting. I'm going to probably continue that pipe through if I can be bothered. Uh, as well as up here. It doesn't look too bad but uh, it just doesn't look the same on either side so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this yet. But I'll probably just leave it all how it is and clean it up. 
because uh, when you see one side of the car, you can't see both sides at the same time. So it doesn't really matter if it's not perfectly symmetrical, as long as it's close enough, I suppose. So, yeah, uh, I started sanding it, and I've been doing a lot more sanding on stuff, as well as I cleaned these up. Uh, this one's nearly done, just needs like the edge filed off and cleaned up. And the other one still needs a little bit more grinding, but uh, it should be good in a minute. It uh, doesn't need too much more work. But I've also just got to fix a lot of dints and things uh, in the back of the tray, as well as there's a lot of dints in this uh, actual checker, ball, uh, checker plate, as well as I've got to grind this uh, mesh off, which I'm yet to do, so I might start cutting that mesh off tomorrow if I have time. Alright, so I got pretty much all of the mesh grinded off and cleaned up on the headboard. Uh, I got all of it off that I could with the grinder, but I'm going to have to lift the tray up or uh, do it when I flipped it over on the other side to clean the top. I might have to uh, keep grinding off the rest of that little bit of mesh. So that wraps up today's episode. If you enjoyed, please make sure to go down below, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.